Hi, I'm Barbara Bucci and I make mermaid boxes. What's a mermaid box, you might ask? It's a treasure box that you can put important things that you have that do not have a special place. So you can put cherished memories, family, cards. The tagline for what I do is that even mermaids need a place to put their treasures. But maybe you're not a mermaid. So you can call it a treasure box. You can call it a time capsule. It can be for yourself or it could be for your family. And I came up with this, this idea primarily because my father was a fine art painter his whole life. Um, he died 26 years ago and I inherited about 500 um, both works on paper, canvases, drawings, all of which were not fabulous. In some cases, he would rip them up and I had a hard time just crumpling them up and throwing them away. But I found that I could incorporate them, like this one even has a signature, and that made me feel better about having them and using them and not having them just live in a drawer. And after a while, I think I felt like I had enough confidence to break away from just using bits of his work. And now, almost exclusively, I just draw from my own intuitive guide. Um, my process begins with prepping the box and then just deciding what kind of colors I'm going to use. I pull them together. I like the way they look. I use sandpaper to create friction and that helps to bind the paper that I'm applying to the surface of the box and then I apply the glue over as well because it acts as a protective coat and it's a matte finish even though it might look shiny now because it's still wet. Each box probably takes a minimum of like six to eight hours, not, not the little ones but these bigger boxes because you have to wait till things dry and then you do another layer on top of it or if you're not really happy with the way it looks. So sometimes um, the inside of the box will be a surprise, something unexpected like the, the top or the outside of the box will set up an expectation of what will be inside and sometimes it's not what you would expect. That when people find out that you do things with paper, whenever they see paper or whenever they see boxes that they don't want to throw out, I'll get a call or a text and they'll say, Barb, I have wall hand painted wallpaper from the 1950s would you like it and i don't think i've ever said no to any of it that helps inspire new creations this is an example of a, a mermaid box where i cut out some of that uh, hand painted wallpaper from the 50s this one is we'll call it a california box the inside of the box has scenes that you'll probably be familiar with and while i'm at it i want to show you a new york box which is where i grew up so more of the wallpaper more of the map butterflies Long Island, <laughs> Brooklyn, and then of course, very familiar scenes. I like Japanese influence. I like rice paper. This box has a lot of marbleized rice paper on it, this section here and here. And then on the inside, we have kind of a beachy scene going from the sky with the birds down to the ocean. So you, you never really know what to expect. Here's another example of uh, a mermaid box that I have. It has um, incorporated lots of different kinds of rice paper. 
I've got an antique doily. It's an example of things kind of unexpectedly coming together. I like to do commissions and you can bring me a favorite box of yours if you have some sentimental attachment to a, a treasure box of your own. Bring me copies of photographs, not the originals, because I'm going to be gluing them. And if you have like t-shirts or bits of clothes, bits of uniforms that you want incorporated, I, I can put them in the boxes as well. The first commission I did was a memorial box for a woman whose son had been in um, the Navy. I've done um, mother and child boxes that they presented to Kelly Dunn, the newscaster at um, a Mary's Home luncheon a couple of years back. You can see a nice assortment of these boxes on my website, which is barbbucciecreations.com. I'll be a stop on the Martin County Open Studio Tour. Our group, our guild, has an art gallery in Sewell's Point. It's called the Palm Room Art Gallery and Artisan's Boutique. I have work there on display all the time. It's um, an opportunity to see other members of our guild's work in one place at the same time as well. So not only my work, but other members as well. I hope to see you either here in my home on the tour or sometime at the Palm Room.